Proverbs chapter 8, and we'll pick up in verse 21. <coughs> now, I'm not one that usually wants to rush a chapter, but chapter 8 is about wisdom, and I wish we could have done the whole chapter in one time, but we have to do it in two parts. And one of those chapters, I mean, it's just great detail. Wait till, you, wait till we get to the end of this study. You'll find something interesting. Sorry to those who don't read their Bible. Don't read the Old Testament. 21. That I may call it. That's wisdom. Wisdom is the pronoun. Solomon has taken wisdom and personified her as a woman. I may cause those that love me to inherit substance that I may fill their treasures. Now we learned last night about the judgment seat of Christ. It's selling out. 22. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before the worlds of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Before Genesis 1, wisdom was present. Before the earth, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. Before God created the heaven and earth, wisdom was there. Now I'm going to say wisdom has always been because wisdom is God. Wisdom was before the angels, before Lucifer and the cherubim. God created the cherubim, God created the angels, which means God was before. God's eternal. And in that eternalness of God is wisdom. And wisdom like God will be forever. The Lord possessed me to begin of his ways, God's way, before the works of old. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth when there were no fountains of abounding with the water. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the water. When God decided to create the, the earth and the heavens, He brought wisdom with Him. The creation of all that there is to be created, that was created, and not evoluted, was God's wisdom. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. Brought forth was, I came closer. Genesis 1, when he decided, I'm going to create all these things. He brought forth wisdom. How to do what he did. Wisdom that, yeah, he created the plants before the sunlight. He would know in his wisdom, well, in 24 hours, I'm going to make the sun. If the days were a thousand days, like some idiots say, well, the wisdom of God was those plants would have died out before he made the sun. Think of all the places if God did not have that wisdom where God could have planted our nose for smelling. Think about that. While as yet he, God, had not made the earth, see, nor the field, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there even before Genesis 1 1 when God created the heavens and earth. Before that, the eternal state of God, He's always been. Wisdom was there. When He prepared the heavens, I was there. When He set a compass, a circle. Upon the face of the depth. That's where you get the word compass. God designed north, east, west, and south. 
when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. That was Genesis 7, the flood. When he gave to the sea his decree, Genesis 1, that the water should not pass his commandment. What keeps the waters from overflowing the entire earth again, unlike it did during Noah's flood? God said, I will never again drown or flood out the whole entire earth. Now, there will be floods, but not the catastrophe flood of the entire earth. What stops the earth from getting completely flooded? Wisdom. When he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him. I, wisdom, him, God. As one brought up with him. I was daily his delight. Rejoicing always before him. Wisdom rejoices. Wisdom stands before God. This is all important to what we're going to find at the end of this chapter. Rejoicing in the habitable parts of the earth. So wherever there's a habitation of, of living wisdom. My delights were with the sons of men. That's us. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, wisdom speaking. Not to the Jews, not to the church, to all children. For blessed, happy are they that keep my way. You want to be happy? And hear the wisdom, and hear the God's wisdom. Hear instruction, and be wise and refuse it not. What's the instruction today? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I want to know more. I want to know more about God. I want to. You've got to come through Jesus. No Jesus, no knowing God. You can't get the Holy Spirit without God. Blessed, happy is the man that heareth me, wisdom. And we saw earlier, wisdom, chapter 8, verses 3 and 4, and chapter 1, she calls out witnessing. She calls out the street preacher. When you go in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, you're sending forth wisdom. And if they're not going to listen, they're not going to hear, they refuse wisdom. And watches daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. For whoso for whosoever findeth me, findeth life. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. John 14. John chapter 14, verse 6, verse 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, whosoever findeth me, Findeth light. Okay. Chapter 8, verse 7. For my mouth shall speak truth. Did you get that? Did you understand that? Truth and light. Verse 22, the Lord possessed me from the beginning of his way. The 
gonna, we're going to come to something. For whosoever findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. John 15, 18. John 15, 18, the words of Jesus, we got a red letter Bible. If the world hate you, know ye that it hated me before it hated you. If the world if the if ye were of the world, the world would not the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Okay, back to Proverbs 8, which, like I said, wish we could have done this whole thing one night, but we can't, could it? Verse 7, 8, 7, the mouth shall speak the truth. Verse 20, I lead the way of righteousness. Verse 22, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before the works of old. Verse 35, for whosoever finds me findeth life. Verse 36, they that hate me loveth death. John chapter 3. John chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than night, light because their deeds were evil. Everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, Neither come into the life, lest their deeds should be re re reproved. Verse 36, He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's interesting. First John. First John. Five, seven, which is perverted in modern Bible. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, you know who that is, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Well, that Word is Jesus Christ. John chapter 1, but look at Genesis 1. Go away Genesis chapter 1. Back to Genesis chapter 1. I hate when my Bible reads this. Verse 3. Well, verse 1. In the beginning, God. There's God. Verse 2. And darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Holy and the Spirit of God. There's the Holy Spirit. Verse 3. And God said, See that word of God? There's Jesus Christ. That's the word. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit or ghost, whatever John said. Go back to the Proverbs chapter 8. So, chapter 8, verse 22. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning ever the earth was. Who was there before the earth? Jesus Christ. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountain abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hill was I brought forth. 
before Jesus Christ was incarnate, he was always there. Here he is. God has always been part of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ has always been part of God. Long before Genesis 1-1. And when we read Proverbs chapter 8 in a great, wonderful chapter about wisdom. When you have verse 7, my mouth shall speak truth. Verse 20, the lead the way of righteousness. Verse 35. Whosoever findeth me findeth light. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Verse 36, they that hate me. Jesus said, the world hates me. And as a result of hating Jesus and rejecting the way, the truth, and the life, you come at the end of the verse with death. People, when they don't read their Old Testament, oh, where's Jesus? I just showed you Jesus. There he is. Before he was born in the manger, we see Jesus personified as wisdom. Solomon wrote about. In the Old Testament, in the book of Proverbs, and I've heard many Christians say, well, I don't read the Old Testament. That's too bad because there's Jesus. There is John 14, 6, right there. 